All right, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Bringing you guys episode three, I believe, Road to Commander, and we are level 13. I didn't play a few games since the last episode, but that's just because I don't want it to be like 300 like episode long series. So um, I did play a few games, only leveled up three times. And here's the class we're going to be using. It's pretty similar to the class we used in la last episode, where I almost got the DNA bomb. That episode was absolutely insane. If you haven't seen that recommend you go check it out but pretty much the same class so without the remote and turret because that ended up screwing me over and then instead of the KF5 I put on the BAL because that's like the best gun in the game so um, yeah let's get right into the gameplay guys alright guys we are back playing some kill confirmed on the map Riot now Riot is a pretty good map I'm not gonna lie I really do like this map uh, there are a lot of maps in this game that are I don't know, just kind of iffy, like, the, most of the maps in this game aren't like they were in other Call of Duties, like, they're very vertical, a lot of things to jump on and stuff like that, so, um, this Call of Duty is kind of, oh, can I break this? Okay, thank you. Alright, well, we are playing on the Xbox One, like I said, and, um, me personally, I, oh. I've always enjoyed playing Call of Duty more so on the 360 than really any other console like the Xbox One or anything so um so I don't know I'm not sure I just decided to switch it up because a lot of people were saying that the graphics were a lot better on this console um, than on the 360 so I decided to give it a go for myself and they are a lot better like I definitely agree with everyone but that's as to be expected because it is next gen and if the graphics weren't any better you know that that would just be sad so um and I do have a scuff for this console and I no longer have a scuff for the 360 because it just, it just wore out, you know, I did have a scuff for the 360, but, uh, just super old, super, like, I don't know. You know, they wear out after a while. Anything wears out after a while, you know? I think that was my fourth scuff controller. Oh, this was cool. Let's watch this. The shotguns in this game are so awesome because, like, how fast-paced the game is. Because you can, like, dash, you can sprint around. Like, there's not a lot you can't do in this game, so, like... Running around with a shotgun. How did I just die? Oh, we got a headshot. Alright, my goal is to go positive. And I mean, we're accomplishing that right now, so. Some rusty aim, but you know what? This is my first game on also, so. All right, we're gonna get a DNA strike right here, boys, or a DNA, whatever it's called. We're gonna get a DNA thing, a semen bomb. Where? All right, that dude was so hard to kill for some reason. Okay. Dude, we're actually on a streak. Can you guys believe this? Oh, wait, let me give me his BAO, please. Can I have this? Thank you, sir. Darn it! I shouldn't have got the tag. Life lesson, guys. If there's a tag and you want it, don't grab it, okay? It is not worth it. Did I get that guy? I did get that guy. I was lucky. We're actually winning this game, too. And then, that's awesome. I love that. No falling damage. That feels so... Wait, what the hell was that? The no falling damage in this game has just completely, like, changed my life. Because I can't tell you how many kill streaks I would die on in Ghost. Where I would just jump off of, like, a three... Like, a... Not even, like, the height of a bookshelf. I would just do that, and then, boom, I would be dead, so... You know, not having the falling damage is something that's helped out so much. And that I'm never going to take for granted, so... You know, that's important. Like, I literally died on streaks every single game from falling damage. <gasps> oh, I thought I almost turned on that kid. Oh, man. I would have freaked out if I killed that dude. Oh, man. I thought I could get away. All right, here. We're going to use the BAL a little bit so then we can unlock some stuff for this. 
hopefully get grip and other attachments because um, then we can use it in a later episode. All right. Okay, let me get this tag. Oh, and it, ow, I just like one-shotted that guy. Thank you, BAL, for being a decent gun. All right, I don't know where they are, so I'm just gonna run around like an idiot. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Wait, was that a deep? I don't know. What is that? Okay, we're gonna drop in here. See, we're winning this game. Honestly, I did not expect to win this game. Like, this is one of the games... I guess I do have the majority of the kills. Yeah, I have 21 kills and no one on my team even has 10. Oh, well done, dude. I stopped shooting. That was my fault. Oh, well. I tried my best. That was lucky, dude. This BAL is so good. Literally, I swear I just, like, two-shotted that guy. I have a question for you guys, okay? I want you to comment down below what your favorite gun is that isn't the BAL because I know every single person loves the BAL. Every single person loves the BAL. It is a great gun. Oh, oh I dashed by accident. But besides the BAL, what weapon is your favorite to use? Me personally, I like the AK-12 and the, the HBR is also a really good assault rifle that doesn't really get used too much. But, um, the BAL, I have to say, is my favorite, if I'm going to be honest. Like, of all the guns in the game, the BAL is probably the best. But that probably won't be for long, because, you know, they're, let's be honest, they're going to, they're going to nerf it. Dang it. Is this dude still up here, or no? Where did he go? Oh, no, that was my teammate. I almost shot at my teammate. That would have been bad. Alright, let me get these tags real quick. Alright, then we're gonna get out of there. Better safe than sorry, right dudes? But here's what I'm starting to do with this series, guys. Um, if you noticed, in the last episode I was like a level 10, and now I'm a level 15, and I didn't rank up 5 times this game, so... I think I'm gonna like upload one in every like two or three games like I'll record them but uh, I'll upload the best of like those two or three games like the best game of those so because I think that'll be a little bit more entertaining I think you guys will like that a little bit more so um, I'm not just hounding you guys with like boring episodes like right now I'm 28 9 so I'm really not doing that bad this is a pretty okay game here maybe I can get these kill streaks. I feel like I should have gone for that tag, but I also feel like that would have been a little bit risky. We get the tag, now I need one more kill. Alright, I got the Vulcan. Alright, let me try. I need 70 points for this thing, so I need a kill and a tag. Alright, we got both of these. We got a Warbird and this other thing. So here, we're going to lay down right here and we're going to call these in. All right, Warbird. This is a really good kill streak map too. It's really open. All right, where are they at though? Wait, where is he? Oh, they're in there. Come back. All right, we got him. Well, who else? Is that it? Is that all of them? Oh, uh oh. Alright, dude, that was so lucky. Hold on, now we're gonna call this in. The stupid laser thing. Wait, what? Oh, my teammates capped out. Oh, well. That was a pretty good game, though. Um, I ended up getting my kill streaks and then going on a little bit of a streak towards the end. So we ended up 38 and 10, um, which really wasn't that bad. Like, I think that was pretty good. A 3.8 KD with 19 confirms. Most on my team, so. That was fun. Um, 
I don't know. Kind of changing my mind about the Xbox One. Maybe it's not that bad. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Advanced Warfare content. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. And uh, drop a comment down below letting me know what, uh, what gun you like to use besides the BAL-27. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.